Well, it is the eve of a historic surrender. Former President Donald Trump expected to surrender for his arraignment tomorrow in New York, according to his attorney. Legal and security preparations are underway for that major moment. And we have KCAL News political reporter Tom Waite here, who got the scoop from experts tonight on what we can expect as we're counting down. Well, you know, right, and it's kind of one of those things where the experts can kind of tell us what they think, but because we've never seen this before, we just yeah, don't know. Historic. Exactly. Yeah. So we have some developing news as well late this evening. The judge in this case has ruled that video cameras will not be allowed, but he will allow still photographers in the courtroom, but only briefly. Also, no cell phones or laptops can be used. A camera will be permitted in the court hallway. All of this, as Leslie just mentioned, massive security measures are being taken for this unprecedented moment. Former President Donald Trump spending Monday night back in Trump Tower. In just hours, he will be the first president in U.S. history to be arrested and charged with serious crimes. Mr. Trump's supporters lined the street near his resort home in Florida, Mar-a-Lago, as he left for the airport bound for New York. Trump is already on the attack ahead of his arraignment, claiming the judge overseeing the case, Juan Mershon, hates me and calling the prosecution a witch hunt. This was a political persecution. I've been around criminal justice for 35, 36 years. I've never seen anything like this, where you literally announce your target and revive cases with perjuring witnesses in an effort to just bring him down at all costs. Though the indictment is sealed until Tuesday, sources say Trump will likely be charged with falsifying business records in the first degree, a felony stemming from his alleged role in hush money paid to adult film star Stormy Daniels back in 2016. I think that the strength in the case is that the defendant is John Donald Trump as far as the prosecution is concerned. High profile Los Angeles based criminal defense attorney Alexandra Kazarian says right now it's tough to judge how strong this case is because the indictment has not been unsealed, but there are some clues about how the case will be approached. I think the general consensus that the prosecutor thinks is that most people are okay with a prosecution of Donald Trump. That's dangerous for the prosecution, I think, because a lot of times when you have a case like this that's high profile and that people want to see someone go down for, the evidence kind of, you know, it gets lost and, and the prosecution thinks their case is a lot stronger than it really is. On Tuesday, Trump will arrive at Manhattan Criminal Court for processing just before noon. He will be fingerprinted and may stand for a mugshot, but he will not be handcuffed. At the 215 arraignment, the judge is expected to outline the charges against Trump and ask for him to enter a plea. District Attorney Alvin Bragg's decision to indict stunned and angered Trump, but he's also capitalized on it. The campaign claims to have raised over $7 million since the announcement. When they go after me, they're going after you. Republicans came to Trump's defense this weekend, including potential competitors in the 2024 race. They're trying to do all these legal gymnastics to try to act like it's a felony. Ahead of a possible trial, Trump brought on a veteran criminal defense attorney, Todd Blanche, to his legal team today. He previously represented former Tr President Trump's campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, and one of Rudy Giuliani's associates. So a lot of moving parts, even late tonight, Leslie. So we'll have to see how everything plays out tomorrow. Yeah, just learning. Cameras will not be allowed. Right. But we will get that still photography. Yes. A lot more coming out in the next few hours. Exactly. Tom. And with that new attorney added, you know, it's just another variable yeah. there, right? So. Yeah. Thanks so much, Tom. Thank you.